Hi, this is just a really quick video. I'm just changing the connector on the front of this hot air station. So we've got a female connector here now, um, and this connector is rated for mains use, so um, obviously a lot safer. Um, it's actually one of these Lundberg connectors which I managed to uh, rescue from the trash, but these are really expensive. I think they probably cost about as much as uh, all of the electronics in this hot air station. Um, but when I was soldering this up, you can see the, the pin pitch is quite small, really. Uh, and I was a little bit concerned um, that uh, the fact that this is carrying mains, uh, we've got the live and the neutral right next to each other on the connector, uh, and right at the bottom, the pins were pretty tightly uh, packed. So uh, even with the heat streak on there, I wasn't really happy. So um, this video is just a quick recommendation for getting some of this stuff. So it's basically a conformal coating like you can buy in a, um, an aerosol can. Uh, but the great thing is that you know, if you're trying to do this, you'd end up spraying half the board and all of your desk and everything. This stuff allows you to be uh, really precise um, with your application. So it kind of comes in this nail varnish type uh, container and just has a little brush. Um, and you, in this case, I was just able to sort of drip it down the wires so that it got really in there. Uh, but this stuff's been really useful. Uh, I think it cost about five or six pound. Um, you can buy it at Farnell. I think there's some sellers on eBay as well. Um, but I've been using it quite a lot. I did some uh, outside lights um, and a few other things. And it just, um, as well as providing waterproof protection, which was what I was doing with the outside lights, um, it increases the dielectric strength uh, between any um, conductors. So, um, you know, you've got your breakdown of air. If you put the silicone coating in between here, the uh, insulation resistance goes right up. Uh, and obviously in this case makes it a lot safer. So stay tuned if you uh, want to see this hot air station actually doing some work. Um, I'm going to build a kit which I got from Banggood. It's got a, a matrix of 0805 LEDs on the front of it. Um, so we'll compare this with the Metcal station. Um, there is a project that I need to do first to enable that, um, which is uh, a, a SMD pickup tool. Uh, so we need to build the other end of this, basically. I managed to pick up the pencil, but we need to build the... Um, the pump and everything like that and the foot pedal so um, that's going to be a video coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to uh, click on the bell below so that you get a notification when uh, that video comes out. But uh, thanks for watching.